My name is Matt Haynes. I'm an audiobook narrator, and I'm dedicated to uh, practicing and acquainting myself with different accents on a monthly basis. Now, this month is rather special because we are going to be revisiting Rhode Island. And if you scroll to especially the uh, beginning comments uh, all the way down on my first Rhode Island video, you'll find that it is one of the most openly despised videos uh, in my series. Um, I'm not sure exactly why, but apparently there are quite a few Rhode Islanders who know exactly why. Um, I do have a book coming up which is going to take place in Rhode Island, so I figured <laughs> against uh, all the risks I am going to try the accent again. So uh, we're going to go over the principles of the accent as I've been brushing up on them and hearing them, and then we're going to apply those principles to song lyrics, one of my favorite practice techniques. Ta-da! This is the Mattoon. This is a picture of me with my glasses on, and uh, it's to illustrate where I'm finding the accent living in my mouth when I'm practicing it. Now, revision number one from the previous video, I described the accent as being in my upper molars, which gave me a very Peter Griffin kind of sound. And uh, it's, I'm finding actually that it's not so much that uh, which is helpful to me, but pinching the corners of my mouth which for some reason uh, tends to make all the uh, upcoming principles lock into place. Now, revision number two from the previous video. Um, in the previous video, I was laying down an idea that if an ah, um, a short o sound, is preceded by an r or, or a consonant, it becomes an o. Oh. I'm not finding this is true. So let's dissect uh, the phenomenon of the short o sound. First of all, there is a division in Rhode Island of what we call the, the cot and quat uh, merger. So C A U G H T becomes Caught. C O T becomes caught. That's the idea. Now, here are the exceptions that I'm finding to the rule. What I call the free fall, and that is an A R sound, which doesn't become an R, it just becomes an AW. So hard becomes hard. Um, I just love that, that just liberation. Off, general American accent, becomes off. Um, also, an O R becomes or, and the uh, R tends to drop. Um, I'm also finding that dog is dog, but I'm not sure if there's a universal principle of it becoming or with the G sound. You tell me. Two random notes, uh, just uh, reminders to myself. Water does not become water, just as water, and, or water. And also, uh, herb is actually pronounced herb. Common in a lot of parts of uh, accents in the United States, the A-N, A-M, becomes a very nasal and almost two-syllable, am and an. So uh, in our song, you can't forgive what you can't forget. I'm finding that the O-U sound, ow, doesn't become that so much as an U uh sound, so house, house. Now, another uh, common piece of wisdom or advice that uh, gets passed along to me about Rhode Island is that um, when there is an R at the end of a word, it's dropped. So, uh, father be father. Believe it or not, I'm not uh, finding this to be universal. Um, with a lot of uh, the uh, Rhode Islanders that I'm hearing, uh, it's just a soft R. So, rather than father, it'd be father. Um, also, the idea is that when there's an open vowel at the end of a word, an R gets tacked on to it. So, pizza be pizza. Again, not universal. Uh, for example, uh, if there's an E sound at the end of the word, like usually, it doesn't become usually. -er. Um, and also, like if there's an A sound at the end, uh, way wouldn't be where. Um, however, if there is an A sound, which then becomes an U uh sound, uh, for example, pizza, then there is an R. Pizza America. Okay, everybody, it is song time. We are going to take these principles and apply them to the lyrics of Arcade Fire's Windowsill. I don't want to hear the noises on TV. I don't want the salesman coming after me. I don't want it faster. I don't want it free. I don't want to show you what they've done to me. I don't want to choose black or blue. I don't want to see what they've done to you. I don't want to live in my father's house no more. I don't want to give them my name and address. I don't want to see what happens next. I don't want to live with my father's debt. He can't forgive what he can't forget. I don't want to fight in a holy war. I don't want the salesman knocking at my door. I don't want to live in America no more. MTV, what have you done to me? Save my 
my soul, set me free, set me free, what have you done to me, I can't breathe, I can't see, World War Three. when are you coming for me, we've been kicking up sparks, we set the flame free, when does it lock now, so what will it be, a house on fire, a rising sea, why is the night so still, why did I take the pill, because the tide is high and it's rising still, and I don't want to see it, my window sill. And that was Windowsill from Arcade Fire. Music by Kevin McLeod, who gives this stuff out royalty-free, public domain. Thank you so much, Kevin. And so, is this the video that is going to redeem me to Rhode Islanders? <laughs> oh, I bet not. Um, and while uh, hater comments do bring up more views on my channel, which is good for business, um, uh, let me know some specifics if you disagree with the things that I've said, um, because this is something that we can all learn from. So put it in the comments, and I will see you next time.